Hello guys, this is Nevercore2K12 here, and I am here with another Rom Total War online commentary battle. So, as you can see, I'm using Parthia, and my opponent, ECB Rockies, is using Armenia. I did remember one of my subscribers did request a while ago for me to use Parthia, so I thought, go ahead, why not do it today? <laughs> uh, I am sorry for the lateness. I did try when you did ask me, but all I got was incredibly crappy games. But now here it is, so I'm sorry for the lateness of this video, my friend, but it is here now. So as you can see, I have five units of gold gold cataphracts, then I have one unit of gold gold cataphracts camels, and I have two units of gold gold horse archers, and I have three units over here, which are now here, of gold gold eastern infantry, then I have four units of gold gold ho uh, archers. Let's take a look at the army of ECB Rockies playing as Armenia. Here he has two units of Beduin, I believe that's how you pronounce it, warriors, and they have five upgrades on each. Then he has five units of heavy spearmen, which are, I believe are gold gold. Then he has six units of archers, which I believe are gold gold. Then he, here he has five units of cataphracts, which are silver silver. So as you can see, right off the bat, I saw I had the hill disadvantage, so I'm going to, I'm going to. I was going to walk my guys up here, but he saw exactly what I was doing, so he's going to run his entire army over to this wing. So I'm going to do exactly the same. As you can see, he keeps moving his cav along, so that's exactly what I'm going to do, because I wanted to engage his cavalry. But I guess he sees that as a threat, so now he's going to charge with these and all his cataphracts into these two units here. So since he's only charging to those two units it makes a massive clump for me just to surround. And um, as you can see I've already routed his uh, camels. See this is just a massive mess of cataphracts. <laughs> as you can see I'm quite easily routing these guys. I did notice he was getting his uh, troops into the mix. He didn't put any of them in phalanx formation which I was incredibly thankful for but I wanted to bug out of there just because I noticed he had his spear units. And all the meantime I am firing on this massive clump with my archers. As you can see now there's going to be another cataphracts fight going on over here. He gets a nice charge off on my cataphracts, but then I do come around the back, and he is going to attack the back of me. But these two units are going to come in and help me out. In the meantime, my eastern infantry are fighting these guys, and the only reason they're doing okay is because all of these arrows are pelting them. And I am getting some casualties, but I didn't really care because the only reason I had my infantry engaged was to just distract his spears while I took out of his cavalry contingent. And that did work pretty well. So we have routed one of his heavy spearmen, which I was, I didn't think was going to happen. So yay! <laughs> so now I'm just going to chase down some of his archers. As you can see, my archers are still pelting this unit. He's pelting these two units here. So they were getting quite a few kills. Fire! Boom. So now, basically what's going to happen is, I regroup my men, just so I could get my focus back. And while I was doing that, this unit did clip his spearmen. And I was like, no, but my guys didn't route, so I was quite happy about that. So yeah, I just basically regrouped my men just so I could get my concentration back up so I knew exactly what was going on. So basically now, I did try and route this unit with a charge, but it didn't work sadly, so I'm just going to bug out of there. And I noticed this unit is going to get separated from the rest from this group here. So what all I'm going to do is I'm going to surround it, and then I'm going to charge. So here we go guys, boom, and as you can see even with a frontal charge, these guys just routed. So 
honestly, fighting spears with horses isn't actually that hard as long as you can get rear or, or flank charges. So as you can see now, I'm going to get a rear charge off on this unit. Boom, guys. And those guys are out immediately. So I'm going to do exactly the same again. So, and there we go, I've just the killed the enemy general with my arrows. The enemy general has been killed and he's so this, I just use this horse archer unit just to take out these archers. And I get another charge off. And we're going to do the same for this unit here. This unit of cataphracts is going to go and attack those archers over there. So here we go guys. Here we go, here we go. Dun 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 dun. And boom, take that my friend, and bang! We've just killed that unit as well. So as you can see guys, I have completely eradicated the enemy army. And I won that battle. And that was a heroic victory. I deployed 1,113 men. My opponent, ECB Rockies, deployed 1,264. I killed 1,098, he killed 355, and I had 739 men remaining, and he had 162. So that was an incredibly fun battle, I did enjoy it, I mean it's not often you get a massive cav fight right at the beginning, so that was an incredibly nice and welcome change of pace, but guys, I just want to let you know I'm going to have a faction vote up, and you guys can basically choose what faction I'm going to use for my third age total war campaign and that is basically um, the Lord of the Rings conversion mod for Medieval 2 Kingdoms so yeah I hope you guys will like that campaign I thoroughly enjoyed her in that mod it is an amazing mod and for all you Lord of the Fing Rings fans, fans out there, out there um, yeah you should incredibly enjoy it as well so anyway guys I will see you later thank you for watching as always this has been nevercore 2 k 12 guys stay beautiful uh, remember drop a like and if you haven't already subscribe guys because we've got an amazing amount of content coming out in the future and I believe well I hope um, I've got some good content up already so anyway guys yeah see you later have a nice weekend bye